Hi, I'm Nathan Kogan, and I was born on March 16, 1937. We think about all of these immigrants coming from Lithuania, or my father coming in from Germany to America and making it in his short 50 years in America. But something started happening after World War II. Bath, Maine fell apart because it was relying on a war economy. We stopped building ships. Everybody moved out of the town. Houses were going for 1,500, 2,000 in those days. And this is in Bath, Maine. David Kogan, I don't know if he got ill in Bath, Maine by 1948, but he was ill in the 1950s. He had a heart condition. Your father had a heart condition in the 1950s. He had to slow down a little bit. You may remember that. So he came here and he ran a grocery and meat store in um, Northeast Portland. 13th and Fremont. 13th and Fremont, thank you. What was that store called? Okay, so this is the corner of 13th and Fremont. And it's believed that Grandpa Kogan's market was somewhere down this street here. Correct. And it was just called Kogan's Market? It was. Maybe somewhere like, uh, does that does that power pole ring a bell at all? I don't know if you remember what was outside there, if there was anything that even looked closely like this at the time. I don't. And, you know, it was a really long time ago. The market was somewhere in the middle of the block. But I can assure you that none of the storefronts looked like any of those. Okay. And you were how old when you worked there? 11 and 12. What did you do? I sorted through receipts, put them in alphabetical order for the, uh, I think for the, my father's vendors, the people who, who uh, he bought supplies, you know, and wholesale foods from for his market. In those days, uh, there were no big markets. Uh, somewhere around the time when I was 13 or 14, I think, a big market opened up about a block and a half or two blocks east of where his market was. And that was kind of the end of his store. Of course, at that time, if I was 14, he must have been around 60. So he was probably closing in, I'm ready to retire anyway. Do you know how long he ran that market for here? From the time we moved to Portland in 19... 48 until um, he closed it. And I'm not 100% sure about when he closed it, but I know somewhere in my middle teens is when that big grocery store opened up east of there. And that was the beginning of the, the uh, supermarket era. Okay. Now, this is an aerial view of uh, the corner of that block. There's 13th and uh, Fremont. To Wait a minute. Which, which is 13th? Oh, I see. Okay. 13th is over here. Okay. And this is 14th. You can see Fremont right here. Where's 13th? So, Wait a minute. Go back. Where's 13th? 13th is right over here. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah. His store was somewhere in the middle there. Yeah. So it must have been a very... Uh, that's so interesting because all of these storefronts look like it was a time when thing was a very walkable kind of place, which Portland still feels like in a lot of ways it still is in, you know, in some parts. Well, that area probably is very much. So if we go to to the directions from your house that you grew up in, 2439 Northeast 16th Avenue. Then we can see. Oh yeah, you were about uh, three quarters of a mile away. So did you oftentimes, how did you normally, when you worked there, did you normally drive with your dad to the store? Or how did you get there? It was after school, so I probably rode my bike. I honestly don't remember how I got there, but I'm guessing I either rode my bike or walked. Oh, so it says that it would be a four minute bicycle ride from your house. And that walking time would have been about 15 minutes. And my uh, mother's sister and brother, Mickey and Pitch, <laughs> not their real names, 
lived somewhere in the middle. They lived on 12th, I think. Um, uh, right about a little, probably a little south of where your arrow is. Yeah. 